Okay, time for a bit of a background on this fantastic nine day bike packing trip through Scotland. So for starters, uh, the Hebridean Way, it's a trail on the Outer Hebrides, a group of islands all the way out west uh, off the coast of Scotland. And I first come across the Hebridean Way in a hiking video and I thought, A, this looks amazing, but B, this also looks like a, a lot of road walking. Uh, so I wondered, maybe I can bike it, and sure enough, there's a bike trail as well. But since you're on a bunch of small islands in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's not a loop, I decided to combine it with a part of the Caledonia Way, which is another long distance bike route. So I drove my car to Calais in France. I took it on the Eurotunnel train under the sea, which is still a crazy thing to say. And then I drove all the way up through the United Kingdom, through Scotland, to a small town close to Inverness. Uh, before I left, I used the Welcome to My Garden app to find uh, some wonderful people where I could uh, park my car for the week and spend the night on my return. And this is where my ride started. So I rode through Inverness along Loch Ness to Fort William and then down to Oban where I took the ferry to the Outer Hebrides. I made my way all across the islands up to Stornoway, where I took the ferry to Ullapool and finally back to Inverness. Uh, this all happened in the first half of June and I had picked uh, this time to maximize daylight, to get a good chance for somewhat decent weather and to not have too many midges. And I can't really complain about the midges, honestly. I mean. On the highlands, on the mainland, they were quite active, but uh, yeah, along the coastlines, on the beaches, uh, on the islands, there were not much more than a minor inconvenience. And yeah, the weather, oh man, the weather, it was as good as you can ever get in Scotland. I had a couple of hours of rain in total, and I managed to stay sheltered for most of those. So other than that, yeah, I had fantastic conditions, gentle temperatures, not too much wind, uh, loads of sun. In fact, right after this bikepacking trip, I went hiking on the Isle of Skye and got myself a heat stroke. <laughs> so there's a video on that as well on my channel. But yeah, this was my first time in Scotland and I absolutely loved it, uh, especially the island life, the views, the animals. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I biked around 600 kilometers in total in those nine days which is not that much, but you have to keep in mind that I uh, spent about two days on or waiting for ferries. I took six ferries in total, uh, ranging from five minutes to five hours. And you know, even though I took my time, I still felt a little rushed now and then. Like I would really love to go back one day and take a lot more time to explore these islands. There's still so much more to see and do there. The road conditions were also fine, uh, like especially on the mainland. Uh, you'll be driving on some uh, main roads for a couple of stretches and there's quite a bit of uh, single lane roads too, but the traffic was always pretty manageable and yeah, they usually kept their distance very well. A couple of other highlights, um, even though it's not part of the Hebridean way, in my research I saw that there was a bothy, is a, a shelter, uh, right next to the alien glass lighthouse on the island of uh, Scalpe. So it was a bit of a detour and the final two kilometers take you over a very rough and rocky path where you'll be hiking more than biking. So yeah, I was really questioning myself, dragging my bike and all my gear over these footpaths as it was getting late as well. But because they had predicted rain for the night, I was very glad to make it uh, and spend a dry night at this wonderful remote place. Also, I should really applaud and thank the plentiful services and community centers in Scotland. Um, 
There's several small villages that have these places where you can use the bathrooms, uh, you can fill up on water, you can take a shower, charge your batteries, even use the free Wi-Fi sometimes. And I was able to use clean toilets every day and I never had to use my water filter on this whole trip. These community centers are often entirely dependent on donations, so make sure you leave a pound or two in their donation boxes. I used the campground for one night and I wild camped on other nights, which is of course perfectly legal in Scotland. How nice! Oh, and I do have to mention this camera too. This is a 360 camera. Uh, it's the Insta360 X3. And uh, I really love the workflow. You just, you extend the pole and you just start filming, no matter where you're looking at. And then where you get back home, you can choose what part of the video you want to use. And it even completely hides the pole. So it, yeah, it's almost like you have this kind of mini drone uh, following you along on the bike allowing really cool shots like these and uh, yeah i love it for that but there's three problems with this camera um, first off the microphones they don't like wind at all so when you're on the bike the audio is pretty much unusable it's also very fragile like i don't baby my gear i i'm very careful with it uh, mostly but this one, yeah, after just a couple of days of use, I nicked the lenses uh, pretty badly. So yeah, it's pretty fragile. And then finally, yeah, the video quality is just not on par with uh, yeah, modern cameras. Of course, it looks great when you have these extreme wide angles. But the moment you start zooming in for a more um, reasonable frame, yeah, the quality just drops down and yeah, no. But the fact that I have these uh, shots in the movie is all because of this man, Bob. You see, on the second day I had a pretty nasty puncture and it turned out I had to replace the outer tire as well. Uh, right at that time, Bob drove by with his van, with his camper van, and he offered me a lift to the next village where I could take um, the bus back to Fort William and get my bike serviced. But in all this hassle, I had forgotten uh, the camera in the van. So there I was sitting on a beach, super bummed about uh, having the camera lost and then uh, being the true angel that he is, Bob noticed the camera in the back of his van at his next stop and he drove back half an hour to return it to me. So thank you, thank you, Bob, for returning the camera. All right, there's so much more I could tell, so much more stories, but yeah, this video is probably getting way too long already, so do check out my Instagram where I have more frequent updates, more posts. Uh, I have two videos coming up from uh, Sweden in the next months, so subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the outdoors. Have a great day. Bye.